Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas is a title contender for this reason, Mikhail Alshin that is the view of former IndyCar and Nalamans driver Mikhail Alshin. Last season clinched his fifth world championship title with a convincing points gap between his nearer challenger, Ferraris. The British driver finished the season with 408 points, 88 ahead of Vettel in second place and 161 ahead of teammate Bottas in fifth. However, in the inaugural race of the 2019 F1 season Bottas surprised everyone by taking the first win of the year. And Ailshin believes Bottas' feet will make this season much better as a result. The fact that Lewis has competitors, that in the championship struggle, it is very good, Ailshin told Russian outlet Sportbox. Who are the main contenders for the title this year? Team Mercedes in full and Vettel. Hamilton secured pole position for the Australian Grand Prix, with Bottas in second and Vettel in fourth on the grid behind Red Bull's Max Verstappen. A questionable from start from Hamilton gave Bottas the initiative, which he took and never looked back. Bottas not only managed to comfortably secure the win, he also displayed his dominance in Australia by also taking the new bonus point, which is awarded to the driver who sets the fastest lap in a race provided they finish in the top 10. Looking forward, Ailshin believes the first three races of the calendar will give a clear sign of how the season will play out between the teams and he believes Ferrari might struggle. Everything will depend on what form the team will be in the future. On which tracks will be suitable for it, Ailshan said. But for now, I see that Seb has not so many chances. I think the first three races will be indicative of what will happen during the season. Next up is the Bahrain Grand Prix on Sunday 31 March. And after a two-week break the third race of the year will be the Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai on 14 April. Next news for Steppen. Red Bull's potential won't be clear until after China. Red Bull won't know where it truly stands in the pecking order until after the Chinese Grand Prix, according to its driver Max Verstappen. The energy drink squad got its campaign off to a strong start in Australia last weekend, securing a podium finish in its first race with Honda as its power unit supplier. Verstappen crossed the line in third place, but reeled in Mercedes Lewis Hamilton towards the end to keep the five-time world champion on his toes. However, Verstappen has urged his team not to get carried away with the result, as he described Albert Park in Melbourne as not a typical circuit. Starting the season with a podium in Australia is really positive but Melbourne is not a typical circuit, so we can't get carried away, Verstappen said. I don't think we will really know where we stand until after China. Bahrain hosts the second round of the World Championship next weekend, a race that Red Bull has won twice at, 2012 and 2013. Verstappen will be hoping for a strong result this time around in Bahrain, having not recorded a result higher than 6th at the Sakhir International Circuit. I enjoy the track and the transition from day to night is a challenge in terms of car balance, so that always makes it an interesting weekend, Verstappen said. You never really know where you stand when you start qualifying because you haven't had the optimal preparation as the track conditions aren't the same during practice. The middle sector, which is quite technical, is the best part of the Bahrain circuit and I hope it's good for racing again this year. Next news Sainz encouraged by Renault Engine Games despite Australia failure. Carlos Sainz believes the Renault Engine can now compete with their rivals in terms of performance. The French manufacturer claimed to have made strong gains with an all new power unit for 2019 after the development of their previous concept fell short of expectations last year. And the Spaniard. 
who raced for the Renault Works outfit in 2018 and now drives for customer team McLaren, is feeling a difference to start the new season. I feel a step in the right direction, he told Motorsport.com. I still think we are a bit behind the Ferrari and Mercedes engines, but it definitely feels like we have something to fight with now, finally. I have done four years in Formula One and all four years has been 10 km per hour down on all the straights. So finally, to be turning up to Melbourne and to be just two thirds km per hour down maybe on the top teams, is a really, really encouraging scenario. The big question now is reliability with Sainz retiring early on in Melbourne after an MG UK failure, but the former Red Bull Jr. believes that will come in time. They seem to have clear ideas of how to develop the engine during the year so that gives some positive vibes also, he continued. I would praise Renault in that sense because it finally seems like they've done the step that we were needing two years ago. Next news Magnussen worried Red Bull already out of Haas reach. Kevin Magnussen is concerned that the top three teams are already out of Haas reach this season, despite a strong start in Australia for the American outfit. Magnussen finished in sixth place in last weekend season opener in Melbourne, claiming the best of the rest status for Haas F1. Despite claiming that status, the Dane was a big step back from the Ferrari drivers Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel, who concluded the race in P5 and P4, respectively. Ferrari were almost half a minute ahead at the end of the race, with Red Bull racing, and more specifically Max Verstappen, another 35 seconds ahead of the Italian team. It's still going to be very difficult to reach Red Bull as they're already quite a big chunk ahead of us, Magnussen admitted. And they usually evolve and develop quite well over the season, even compared to the two other top teams of Mercedes and Ferrari. If Magnussen is right in his prediction about the top three teams having too much for Haas, then the best him and Romain Grosjean can wish for is a fourth place finish, which is one better than last season already. I think it's going to be close again, like last year, the Dane continued. It's obviously difficult to say what the battle's going to be like for the rest of the year. But at least in Australia it was very close. It looked a lot like last year, maybe even closer. Next news Robert Kubica, I was fighting for my life when rookies were racing. Robert Kubica insists he will never regret returning to Formula One, despite Williams' struggles, pointing to his long route back to the championship in the wake of his serious rally accident. Kubica raced in Formula 1 from 2006 to 2010 but his single-seater career was ostensibly curtain when he suffered life-threatening injuries in a rally crash early in 2011. That led to Kubica sustaining limitations to his right arm and he returned to competitive action in rallying, before beginning to explore a Formula 1 comeback mid-2017 testing for Renault before switching focus to Williams. Kubica secured a 2019 seat with Williams but his return has coincided with one of the worst slumps in the team's distinguished history, meaning he faces the prospect of spending the year at the rear of the pack. But Kubica stressed he will never regret trying to return to Formula 1. Because of my limitation it looks like I have to show always more than the others as people are putting question marks and doubts, said Kubica. The only thing I can do is try and do my job the best I can and try to leave all Grand Prix with positives and negatives, because I don't believe there can be 100 positive things. You can always do better things, even if you're winning races you can always improve. I think I'm honest enough with myself to judge properly and correctly what I have to learn, where I have to learn and where I have to improve. I think only with this approach, and only this approach, 
brought me back to Formula 1 and actually to keep fighting, otherwise for me it would, have, been much easier to 6 years ago except opportunities in GTs, DTM, enjoy it there and have even less stress. I, would, have probably more fun with driving as I would probably be fighting for better positions, but somehow there is a reason I'm here, in F1. It might be that at the end of the year one will regret something but one thing I will not regret is to try. Very simple. Kubica added that his long journey back to Formula 1 gives him a different perspective compared to his contemporaries. When for example rookie drivers were driving I was fighting for my life, he said. It makes a huge difference when you approach the weekend. From where I'm coming I'm honest with myself. I was disappointed with things, in qualifying in Australia, not only the performance, in the end I know the reasons, but I didn't handle some things the way I liked. In the race, in an even more difficult situation, I think I handled it correctly. Kubica placed 17th during his Formula 1 return in Australia, with his race compromised by sustaining damage to his FW42 on the opening lap. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.